you know, if you turned up every day to a job and you knew that part of that job, you, know, you might be excelling in a whole lot of parts, but part of that job you were going to fail every day in that. Right. That's pretty frustrating. I mean, that's yes. why I look at it, you know. It's really interesting. I had a friend years ago and her daughter, when she was in kindergarten, she started teaching her math and she really struggled. And so she put the math, the mom, uh, the very wise homeschool mom, she put the math book away. And so in first grade, she brought it back out and taught it to her, tried to teach it to her daughter and her daughter was still struggling with it. And so she, they tried for a little while and she said, okay, it was just way frustrating. She just wasn't ready for it. So she put the math book away. The next year or several months later, she brought it back out. Her daughter still wasn't ready for it. And this went on and on and on until I think it was fourth grade. And in fourth grade, she brought the math book out and uh, like her daughter's brain was just developed enough. She was mature enough and she was ready for it. And so when they jumped into this math, she just got it. And they jumped from basically basic, you know, kindergarten, first grade level math to fourth grade math within the first semester. And it happened that quickly because she was just ready for it. Have you, as as you've studied math and, and taught for so many years, have you seen that happen other times where kids' brains are just not yet developed? They're just not ready for it. And how how would you encourage that mom? Because Math is one of those things that you hear, you know, oh, my kid just cries and cries and cries because they're so frustrated over it. And these moms want to just push their kid into it because they want to get through the book and finish that third grade math in third grade. Yeah. So can you maybe bring some um, light to that and some encouragement um, and talk a little bit about how the brain works that way in young children? Yeah. Well, I really love to hear that, hearing that story because that story, if that was told more often, if I'd reach more people then I think that would relieve a lot of stress that that home sure. parents uh, that homeschool parents feel. Now, I think, yeah, you're right. I mean, some kids just aren't ready at certain times. And rather than sort of hit your head against a brick wall, just, you know, trying to, trying to hammer this information in, let them stay at a level that they're a bit more comfortable with for a bit longer. Okay. So, and, and it is amazing with math. I have seen that at plenty of times too, where really you know, kids make two or three years progress within right. a 12-month period. Mm -hmm. So that's not unusual. Uh, what is probably more common, though, is that, that kid you know, wouldn't have that opportunity to make that progress because they've been trying to, they were, you know, they've been pushed and advanced mm -hmm. to a level that they're not um, comfortable with or capable of. Sure. And then as a result, they sort of eventually think, you know, that, and they keep on getting pushed as well to keep on. Right. So they, they're, they're just failing all the time. So that's when they say, oh, I'm no, no good at math. I don't like it. Uh, it's mm -hmm. frustrating. And I can understand the tears because, I mean, if you turned up, you know, if you turned up every day to a job and you knew that part of that job, you, know, you might be excelling in a whole lot of parts, but part of that job, you were going to fail every day in that. Right. That's pretty frustrating. I mean, that's why yes. I look at it, you know. And that's what sometimes kids do with math. They, they're turning up to part of their school day mm -hmm. and they know that they're going to fail and it's not fun for anybody. So, yeah. But I, yeah, so I really liked what your friend did. She obviously had enough confidence in herself though, which is great, not to be feel pressured that you've got to push sure. my child up those levels. But yeah, so yeah, so to see yeah, two or three years progress in a 12 month period is, is not unusual. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 